hi welcome to my channel my name is Joyce you're welcome you're so much welcome if you are new and if you're not new you're also welcome so today I'll be talking about the process of applying for a bursary it could be if you're given admission at the University of Zambia or maybe a CBU but mainly I'll focus at the University of Zambia because that's where I am so I know how things are how I can remember how things were going and stuff so uh, first of all, um, um, I was given a hundred percent bursary. Yay! I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I was given a hundred percent bursary, and I was also given accommodation. I also talk about getting accommodation, so make sure that you watch till the very end. Lights are out and there's sweat in yeah. your embrace. What if this was the last thing I could ever say to you? Mm, then our silence is too much. What would I need to let you know? Okay, so first thing, you have to like the pages for uh, higher education. Uh, on Facebook, uh, higher education has a page and you have to like that page for, for you to, to receive my updates on uh, on what they've posted. So the for the bursary, the time um, they'll, be, they'll start advertising the bursary, they'll put the post on Facebook. So you have to check those and put the dates when you have to, uh, the duration of how long they will take for for this uh, advertisement <laughs> yeah so you have to like the page for bursary and if you're a student that owns that like the page for for unza the unza page the real unza page because there are a lot of pages on on facebook i'll i'll put the the names for the pages uh higher education page and the uh, unza page on my description box mm -hmm. so make sure you like the pages because the information that they'll post, they'll put them uh, on the or in the page, on the page, in the page, whatever. So make sure that you do that. And the other thing is that you have to to be checking. So make sure you can be checking every day, or maybe after two days you check if they're posted or not, or maybe. Uh, but stay alert. Be checking because uh, that would guide you. So when they've posted, they'll put uh, the qualification because you have to qualify for the bursary. Then don't just give any person. So you have to, to check if you qualify for the bursary. They'll put the years, how old you're supposed to be for you to qualify for this bursary. Yeah, so check all those. Check uh, for the requirements that if you qualify according to their 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 requirements you qualify then the first thing that you can do for me what i did is to i i came to social welfare because on my 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 address my address shows siavonga at that time i was in losaka so i had to come to siavonga and uh, get a letter from the social welfare so you have to get your recommendation from social welfare okay so at the, for social welfare, when you're given your, your acceptance letter, you have to make sure that you make copies of that because you'll be taking your letters to different places. So make sure that you get um, the photocopies of your your acceptance letter or your admission letter. So do that. Then at the social welfare, they'll guide you. And also you have to have a medical certificate or maybe for someone who died, uh, maybe like to show the proof of uh, really that you can't manage because uh, you have to show that it's, uh, you can't manage to pay and you have to give reasons why you can't manage. So uh, most of the time for me, I use the death certificate for my dad. So you can give, you can get the death certificate or a burial certificate for any person who's close to you. Maybe you share the same surname, yeah, so that you can use it. So make sure you do that. If you can start now, if you know any person who has a document for the person who died and you share the same surname, you can just go get that immediately before they even uh, advertise so that everything will be in place uh, before time. So you have to have, so you have to make sure that all your documents that needs to be certified are certified. Yeah, you can have your NRC certified from the police. I don't know other places that you can have them certified. Even a church, they can certify. So you can, you need to have your documents certified. Then afterwards, you get the same, um, the medical certificate to show that uh, you, your parents cannot afford. You get, uh, you, you get your, your NRC, the admission letter. You can use the photocopied one, admission letter you take. So you have to make about so. 
at the social warfare they will guide you what uh, documents they need there so you can just take a list and they'll tell you to make about three copies three sets sorry for all the copies that they'll need so you have to make sure that um, your results are certified most of the things and you have a lot of copies so you can just make sure you uh, photocopy a lot of things about maybe six uh, in six uh, six uh, copies for maybe each of the copies that you are you're using yeah so you have to leave one set for the copy as a social welfare the other one you're taking to higher education the other one you're remaining you're remaining it's yeah it's it's remaining with you yeah so that's all i think yeah so after the social warfare you make sure you don't forget to write a letter at the at high education they'll need a letter for for the reason to show the reason why you want your you want the advisory so don't forget that you need to have a written you have to write it yourself write why you want this advisory yeah after social warfare you go to high education high education is along uh long acres you can just it's somewhere that side yeah i can't really give the direction because i'm not really sure it's been long so i can't remember yeah somewhere there that's where uh, high education is the offices unless they shifted but that's where it was yeah unless they've shift they shifted what else then when you take your results cool yeah cool when you take your information cool cool high education though they'll, they'll, they'll show you even the uh, the is it the procedure on how you're putting your papers and stuff everything they'll, they'll guide you from 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 the social from sorry from from high education you need to put your letter that shows that you want the advisory and the reason why you want it yeah so when it comes to accommodation you have to make sure you're checking on the UNSA page because on the UNSA page they will show you um they will show you uh the they will show you it sorry it will show the post when they're advertising for accommodation yes so make sure you're checking on the UNSA page when they post for accommodation they'll even set a date for you when you have to apply for accommodation so you make sure that when this day the day for accommodation you go early that side because there are always a lot of people and most of especially early in the morning you find a lot of people because there are a lot of people who are applying so you have to make sure that you go as early as possible because you have to get that uh, the accommodation is is hard um to i don't know man i haven't experienced but it's expensive to rent uh, owns especially if you're using a boarding house you find sometimes it's 1000 something then sometimes it's even two pin you have to pay a two pin every month just imagine so when you have this opportunity that you can even get a accommodation make sure you utilize it maybe you can get it by god's grace so you make sure that you go very early and most of the make most of the times they give accommodation to those people who are outside lusaka so on your address if you put uh, the address that is outside lusaka you have high chances of getting accommodation there so make sure you go very early and uh, make sure you're putting the correct details because if you're the details that you're putting are wrong or you're trying to to lie that you're not from from your outside Lusaka and it's on your address it shows that you're you're from Lusaka you'll be disqualified for accommodation so make sure you're putting the correct information yeah then when I got accommodation, I was given a hundred percent buzzer. Then after the whole process, a letter later on you have to wait because they have to there are a lot of people who are applying for accommodation, there are a lot of people who are applying for, for buzzeries especially. So you have to wait. It takes about a long time for them to respond and get back to you. But when they do, they'll post on their page again. So you have to make sure that you're always keeping your, your eyes on the, the pages for UNSA and the page the page for higher education because they'll guide you. Yeah. So they'll post when they post then you can check. So for me when I when I checked I found my name. I saw my name and I was very happy like wow I'm given a, I, I've been given a buzzer at first they, they what they posted didn't show um 
if I've been given a bursary, uh, sorry, it didn't show the percentage of uh, how much they're giving me. It just showed my name was there, like, wow, 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 I've gotten a bursary. Then afterwards, that's when it showed that was 100% bursary. I tell you, <laughs> the, there was a lot of excitement in my heart, like, wow, you know, I was at peace, like, very much, like, wow, I've, this is really great, yeah. So you're always happy when they give you them. Stay waiting for accommodation. For accommodation, it takes some time. It takes really some time for them to to give you maybe few few days before you go to school, or maybe few weeks. Yeah, but it takes time for them to give you accommodation. So you have to be very patient. Yeah, th those are my experiences with uh, the process. Or oh, those are the procedures on how you can get a bursary. So. If you have any question of anything that I've left out, I really can't remember everything at the go. So you can just leave your, your comments, your, your questions, sorry, in the comment section. You can ask uh, anything that I've left out. You can just ask and I'll be able to respond as quick as I can. So thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoy your process and I wish you all the best. Hope you get given what you're looking for. Just pray God will help you. Okay. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because I'm always here to assist you.